Square has been in a helo crash before. Okay, so we're all good. Zero Dark Thirty is a film that focuses on the 10-year hunt for Osama bin Laden. The film is told predominantly is for the eyes of the gathering of the intel. You know anything we talked about? It's gonna happen. When? Tonight. And the final chapter, which is when the Navy SEALs were engaged. You really believe this story? Osama bin Laden? Yeah. What part convinced you? Her confidence. SEAL Team 6 is the name of the Special Forces unit that executed the assault on Osama bin Laden's compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. It's a very small group of individuals who are trained in counterterrorism operations. They were going to fly in on these modified, incredibly stealth Black Hawk helicopters, which had hardly been road tested. Technically, these don't exist. They have excellent radar defeat. We just haven't tested them with people in them yet. One of the helicopters actually had problems. We've lost power. And they had to crash land it. Hard landing. Prince 5-1 is down. And they just kind of jumped out and kept doing their job. This mission is still a go. I repeat, we are a go. There's obviously been a lot of discussion and interest in the raid. I was fortunate enough to be able to interview members of the squadron that actually went on that mission. To reenact it, we did hire a number of military experts. Ex-Navy SEALs, dev group guys, and tier one SAS guys to walk us through so we could see exactly how these guys do it. Right on. I spent 21 years in the SEAL teams. And my role is advising on the SEALs' authenticity, making sure that it looks real. Probably the top three guys are doing Would it always be there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's a cut. The movie puts you on the ground in the operation through multiple countries. I really looked at it as a tribute to those people who work in the shadows. It's been pretty amazing. Just catching a glimpse into the world of the Navy SEALs. We got this deal where any of us can say it's time to do 50 push-ups. It's just an honor to be able to meet these guys and shake their hand and hear a couple of their stories in an attempt to try to realistically portray them in this movie.